Now, for line graphs, when a set of data varies with time, ah, that's where we usually use a line graph. Okay. So for this particular example, we are looking at the earnings of a gift shop over a four-month period, September to December. So what do we look up for in a line graph? Line graph must of course have a title. And the pairs of points are connected by a line segment. Axis must be clearly labeled if there's units. Do also in indicate there. Alright, so for part A, we will need to find the earnings over the four month period. So let me zoom in on this graph and we can actually see that first the amount is in terms of thousand dollar. So this means that I will have two thousand dollar here. Two thousand and this is right in the middle so it's three thousand five hundred four thousand eight thousand so now it's just to sum these values up here That will give me a value of seventeen thousand five hundred. Find the percentage increase between September and December. So again, let's go back to the graph on September and December. September two thousand, December eight thousand. So we want to find the percentage increase. The increase will be 8,000 minus 2,000, yeah? So this will be $8,000 minus $2,000. And because you want to find the percentage increase, divide by the original 2,000 times 100%. This gives me a value of 300% okay again because the unit percentage has already been given the symbol has been given so I won't write additional symbol okay in the answer line and now suggest a possible reason for the high earnings well this is a gift shop and in December there is it's supposed to be the festive season right where there's christmas there's new year where people do give each other gifts so a possible reason could be that it could be due to the festive season You could also even state the two holidays that we celebrate. In December. Alright. And with that, we have come to the end of this example. Let's continue to go through other examples.